Hello and welcome again to another episode of Saint Spotlights. My name is Vanessa Rodriguez and today I got to talk to um, some of the redshirt basketball players here on your men and women's basketball team as they get ready to face off against Rocky tomorrow. So we talked a little bit about the games last week against um, Tech, which the women and the men both won their games, and then about the games at LC State on Friday where your women's were very successful, your men's, you know, they could have used a little bit more work, but they're ready to face off against Rocky tomorrow. So here's what they all had to say about what they thought about last week's games and what they think about tomorrow's games. My name's Kirsten Conkey. Um, I'm from Sublimity, Oregon. I'm majoring in health sciences and Catholic studies, and I'm a guard. Hi, I'm Kyle Olson. I'm a finance and accounting and financial planning major. I am from Bozeman, Montana, slash Three Forks, Montana, and I am a guard as well. Hi, my name is Ali Cleverly. I'm from Butte, Montana. I'm an elementary ed major with a minor in psych, and I am a guard as well. Um, I'm Rikaya Grandi, and I'm from Big Fork, Montana, and I'm a computer science major. Um, I don't really know my position. I, 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 yeah, I'm kind of a guard, but I play a four, <laughs> so. A bit of everything. Yeah. Okay, so what brought you to Carol? <laughs> um, the thing that brought me to Carol is just like the community aspect of it. I love the host families. I'm really close with mine. I think it's really cool that they try to like bring a lot of the community in and it kind of makes the college transition a lot easier. Um, I made my decision really fast when I came on my visit. I saw the atmosphere and I love the positivity and all the nice people that surrounded me and I thought I wanted that in my life. So that's why I made that decision. Um, I thought it'd be a really great place to work on growing my faith and just a really great place academically and for, you know, with the team and everything, so. Um, I, I don't know. I, I think the team really sold me and the basketball program is definitely why I'm here. I'm here to also, I'm not like that I major in <laughs> basketball, like kind of kid. School's great, but definitely the basketball aspect. I'm going to say there's a lot of just dance parties in my room with my roommate and I. It's a lot of naps and a lot of bachelor watching <laughs> in my room. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I, I, we, Kirsten and I lift a lot. Um, when, um, I, we, I play guitar in my dorm okay. under my bed. <laughs> what are you with? Yeah. Yeah, probably. Like lifting or sleeping. <laughs> yep. Yep. Okay, so what's your favorite movie or book you have? Um, book, I love The Kite Runner. Great novel. Anybody else? <laughs> what do I got? Mine's not a book. Um, my favorite movie is Mamma Mia, one and two, and my favorite book is Somebody's Lying. Um, I can you a favorite movie. I don't have a favorite book. Um, my favorite movie, any of the James Bond, the newer James Bond, um, A Few Good Men, Troy, <laughs> Gladiator, those are good. I'm going to jump back in and say my favorite movie is Just Go With It. Um, I think my favorite movie changes all the time, but probably like Get Smart today, I don't know. That's a dull, that's okay, put that on my list. And Rakaya's favorite is Get Smart. Um, so you guys had a game last week on Wednesday against Tech, and then you guys had a game on Friday against Lisa Clark. Yes. How would you guys think those went? Like, I guess team-wise, my own because, like, you guys won both games, so. Yeah, definitely no complaints. I mean, they were both battles for sure, but came out with the win and really came together at the end. Mm -hmm. Uh, since we don't play, it is kind of fun just to kind of like go to the gym. You're just kind of like everyone's number one fan, so that's fun. And then when they travel, we all try to watch it as much as we can, and we text them and stuff. Good luck. But it, they definitely battled through the games this week, so hopefully we can just keep doing that for next week. And then on Tuesday, you guys. 
Rocky. 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 Okay. I feel like she knows. Okay, so Tuesday, um, the team's race against Rocky. Do you guys think it's going to be a good game? Oh, it's for sure. We've gone one <laughs> and one with them. It's a battle. We're looking to hammer down this week. I mean, every every game in the Frontier Conference is a battle. But, yeah, I think they'll come ready to play. So, yeah. Any last words to your audience? Um, go Saints. <laughs> go Saints, baby. We're the red shirts. We're, the red shirts. we're the red shirts. We're the Brady Bunch. No, we're not. What? <laughs> we're the red shirts. Red shirts. <laughs> Hey, I'm Brad King. I'm a health science major. I'm a red shirt right now, and I'm from Dramana, Australia. And I'm Tom Sausfeard. I'm from uh, Roseville, California. I'm a red shirt as well, and I'm studying uh, business uh, management and marketing, plus the new financial planning degree that just got offered here at Carroll. Okay, so what brought you to Carroll? Basketball. I honestly, I, I never even heard of Carroll until Coach Paulson gave me a call and he just told me about the school. I came out here in the summer and then, yeah, I decided to come here. Yeah, I got recruited for basketball. I had a look at the school, researched it, looked like a winning program, good academics wise. Ended up being a good fit for me. Yeah, academics were also a big factor in the choice, but I never would have heard about it if it wasn't for basketball. Yeah, I'm the same. Very true. Good question. Uh, I'm for my family and I'm pretty close to the beach, so I don't quite get that here, but the mountains aren't a bad substitute. Definitely my family. Um, uh, me and my little sister are really close, so like not being able to like see her is like kind of hard. Same with my mom and dad. Uh, my fam my my friends as well. Uh, got some really close friends that I've been friends with for years and years. They always give me a hard time about being so far away. And then, just the cold. I mean, I'm not a big fan of how cold it gets here. I don't think many people are. But, you know, there's so many other positives. I'm really happy with my choice to come here. What do you think about the snow this morning? I didn't like it. <laughs> okay. um, so what's something you do for fun when you're not, you know, doing homework or basketball? Okay. okay. Um, well, something that I really like to do is spike ball. Uh, me and my friends play back home all the time. I brought my set out here last year, and we'd be playing all the time over, like, maybe in the Trin Lawn or Guad Lawn or the park across the street from the apartments. Can't really play that right now with my leg, but once once I'm cleared for that, if anyone's trying to play spike ball, hit me up. <laughs> yeah, we got a winning record, don't we? Yeah. Me and Brad are pretty good. That's it. Yeah, personally, I like getting outdoors, trying to explore what we got here. Going on some hikes, some that sort of thing, just getting around, really. Uh, so, what's a favorite meal you have? It's easy, steak. Boom. I love me some steak. Ooh. Give, give it a little, a little medium, maybe a Ooh. baked potato on the side. <laughs> I'm getting hungry right now. Uh, I feel you. Yeah, I'm just some steak, a little bit of seafood. Got a little good seafood back home, so I try and get that where I can. Depending how it conflicts with school and that kind of thing. So yeah. did you guys tell them to LC State on Friday? No. No. We just got to watch the game, try and support from back here. Yeah. Well, obviously we would like to win. Um, whenever, like, uh, we don't travel, we can always, like, find the stream. So, able to watch it that way, but... You know, we have a bunch of young guys. Uh, going on a long trip like that's hard, and hopefully we'll be more prepared for the next trip up there. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, so you guys about the Wednesday? Wednesday. Uh, tech's always pretty physical from the get-go, so we have to be ready for that, and kind of we took care of business in the end. Yeah, I was, I was a lot more happy with that game versus Tech than the first game versus Tech. Yeah, definitely. It wasn't so hard on the heart this game. <laughs> so, what do you feel is going to happen against Rocky? Well, I mean, what's going to 
I don't know what's gonna happen. Only the Lord knows what's gonna happen. But you know, hopefully we can go out there and execute the game plan and uh, put ourselves in a position to win the game at the end of the game. Yeah, we got a good chance. We know what we need to focus on. So just gotta go out and execute and see what happens. Um, I just want to thank everyone for their support. Um, we wouldn't be able to have the program how it is without you guys. Uh, there's so many that support us, either through being a booster or through showing your support at the game and cheering as loud as you can. And I just want to really thank all of you for your support. Absolutely. Yeah, thanks for the opportunity to be here and for everyone to keep getting down to games, supporting the group we have. I'm very thankful. Hope you guys enjoyed, and as you heard Thomas say, thank you guys so much for supporting Carol Athletics by either tuning in or being here at the court and supporting your Saints as they play whatever sport it is you're watching, whether it be football, whether it be soccer, whether it be basketball, or even softball. But thank you guys so much, and if you have time, come on down tomorrow, support your Saints as face off against Rocky. The women play at 5.30, the men play at 7.30. Um, but honestly, come on down, have some fun you know, cheer on your Saints because they're getting ready for those big final games, especially for the home games. This is gonna be your second to last home game before um, the end of the month where you have both men and women playing on the 27th, 28th. And then after that, it's like, if they make it, playoffs are gonna be happening shortly after that. And then off it is to the respective um, championships. So you guys come on down to your Saints while they're still playing here at home. And then you never know, so. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a great evening.